Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we're on a sixth streak right now and we are doing Tainted Maggie this time around. I randomized before. I wish I could put the randomizer on screen a bit more easily, but unfortunately I can't. But I did randomize Tainted Maggie, so we're going to give her a go. She is a character that I find a little bit spicy. She can be kind of rough, um, but overall... It's only in the late game that you really have any major issues as her, so I think she's overall pretty good. I mean, this is kind of nuttily buttily right here. Oh my god, what do I even do here? This is so, like, risky, but there's so much good stuff here, right? Tears leave oil, I mean, converts all blue flies into locusts. That's pretty good. And then Aya Belial's really good as well. Both of these are very, very good. But it would obviously limit our red hearts, and that would be pretty tragic. I can't take both, unfortunately, which I genuinely would. I think I'm going to take this, because I think this is pretty good. I realise that it's a big risk, because red hearts are kind of the lifeblood of this character. Um, but, I don't even know what that does. Mirror's Isaac's movement deals damage. Yeah, I'm just going to go for this. Oh, that was a really bad hit. Okay. Okay. This is weird, and our character looks kind of funky right now. Um, but I think that was the right choice. I think that was the right choice. I've just got to be careful. I've just got to be careful. Having piercing and everything now is really good. We are unfortunately going to be, like, starved for red HP, so using our actual melee right now is a little bit sketchy. And we'll use it on occasion, but it's not going to be something that I, uh, do all the time. We'll see what our item room ends up giving. Like, if it's, like, a guaranteed way to get health back, then I will still use it, but otherwise I won't. Um, yeah, I didn't really read properly what this mirror item does. Mirror's Isaac movement deals 75% damage, 2.5 damage in the mirror world. Okay. Oh, it just gives us plus damage in mirror world. I mean, I mean we're not going to mirror world here. Ooh, god, that's a very good item, but unfortunately, we can't get to it. Oh, my lord. <laughs> that's pretty goddamn good. That's pretty goddamn good. I can't remember if it works with the half hearts. I don't think it does. We'll see. I've never had candied heart on this character, so I don't know how well this works. But yeah, two hearts are actually fine because these can't decay. So that does give us a little bit of safety in that. Goddamn, so many things we need flight for right now. So many things we need flight for. That is a big shame. Right. Let's go and do the boss. He's in the middle of the room, unfortunately, so I can't use my mirror version of me to uh, cheese this. Well, I can now. Oh my god. Oh no, I just stood right in the way of that. I must use your heart here. That does insane damage, man. If I can actually use that correctly, that's, that's really goddamn good. Right, that's pretty good. Right, let's quickly look for secret room here, because it's... It's not actually super obvious where it is. I was going to say it's really obvious where it is, but I don't think it is. I think it's here... There you go. Cool. We'll bomb both of those. Honestly, it is going to be kind of distracting having this mirror version of myself around. I gotta say. Slightly distracting. Right. Quickly go into our shop, and if there's a card, I'm going to buy it just in case it's Hanged Man. Um, so, we'll see. Oh, there's Black Candle, and there's a Soul Heart. Unfortunately, we can't afford either of these. I will bomb these guys, though. I hope for something that isn't just spiders. I need to find out if I get um, hearts from that, because that's going to be crazy. I was really hoping that we'd get a, a heart from the boss, but unfortunately we didn't. Right, second secret room, actually, we should probably look for as well, which is likely to be right here. There you go. And 2% uh, chance to get destroyed. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty worthwhile, I think. Uh, we're going to be getting hit a lot if we use our hugs. Um, make sure we never hug an enemy that's championed. Because that could be an easy way to die here. we got to be very, very selective about when we use our hugs, to be honest. Like, situations like that's fine. I do get stats from the half hearts. Okay, this is... This is ludicrously good. Yeah, this is very, very good for us. Um, tractor beams, also amazing. Thank you. We are going to be losing Devil Deal and stuff here, so... Eh, whatever. We got a really good Devil Deal off the bat. Basically, the reason I wanted to take Eye of Alive is because you can't really effectively use the hugs late game that easily. So we needed a we needed a sort of 
out for the late game. And I, I Star of the Bottomless Pit is really good, but Eye of the Lyle piercing and herming is uh, is pretty incredible, even early on. Really, I should be hugging enemies like that, shouldn't I? That's also a really good trinket here. I'm going to try my best, try my absolute best to get this bag to pop this floor, but 2% chance it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It might not pop this floor. Yeah, this is what Shade should have been, this little mirrored person we've got going on here. Okay, there's a champion in here, so I'm going to play it a bit more cautiously. Um... I've got Yum Heart, so I don't think it's too too bad of an idea to go in here. Pills, it could be a health down, so I'm not too privy to, to that. God damn. Okay. Quickly check in here. Members access card's pretty good. Obviously, the, the present's better, in my opinion, so we'll try and work to that. I'll try and look for crawl space here. I've got golden bombs as well. I'm not going to bomb absolutely everything, but I will try. I think it's worth it for the potential of a good item here. As for the question of the day to day, um, hmm. Ooh, hello. I mean, it's kind of useful to heal up there. I need an e easier way to hurt myself. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a good question of the day here. Um, what's a goal that you have for yourself later in life? Like, what, when you've retired, or like at least when you're sort of past past your like your your sixties. What's what's a goal you have for yourself later in life? Where do you want to be? What do you want to be doing? Do you want to have travelled? I don't know. It's, it, I think that could be an interesting one. Okay, we got enough for the present now, so let's grab that real quick and see what secret room item we might get. It could be something very splendid. Even Lump of Coal would be pretty decent. Um, ooh, that's a health up. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, it is, it is also a speed down, but the health up in itself is super, super good for us and, and well worth it. Um, we're still going to go and look for regular secret room here. I think it's worth looking for. And crawl space as well. Um, what's in here? Oh, there's some pots in here. We'll, uh, we'll blow these up, definitely. Just in case we get the quarter. You never know. Even the, um, the Swallowed Penny Trinket would be pretty good. I think I'd take that. Swallowed Penny giving us a penny every time we get hit seems like it'd be really good on this character. Come on, where are you? I've not been actually looking for secret room locations here. My bad. I'm not quite sure where it could be. death. Okay, uh, secret room, where are they? Could be here. I don't think it could be there, actually. Could be here. Can't be there. What? I'm a bit confused, actually. Where? Where is it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is it? Couldn't be any of these locations. I think it's between the curse room and the shop, actually, thinking about it now. Also, do you like our new hairdo? I've not really commented on the hairdo here, but I quite like that. Right. I think it's here. I just need to line up with the door. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Nice. Um, I will take that. And the reason I've not used Yum Heart here is for one, no reason to. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have the charge, but also because we can pick these up for the stat boosts. Very, very nice. Bomb this. No crawl space to be found, unfortunately. Good, good. Ooh. HP up, a random consumable, and pickup of each type now spawns at the start of every floor. Ooh, that could be really good. HP up is obviously what I've been looking for, so very nice. And also, an uh, item I didn't know existed, so kind of nice. Pickup of every type appears on the next floor. Including a trinket? Wasn't expecting that. Um, what does this do? If you're about to take fatal damage, turn to Slippy. A golden frog um, head to the pocket active slot health bar is converted into three filled heart containers. I mean, that's a revive. It's technically pretty useful, but 
I don't know. I really want to get this health upgrade before I change my trinket. I need to get rid of these soul hearts so that I can start picking up hearts more readily. I can get so much stats out of this. I can get so much stats out of this item. We got it so early on. Ah, that was a bit of a stupid bomb usage, wasn't it? Pill here. Lemon juice is just tier size down, I'm pretty sure, so don't have to worry about that. Good, yeah. Just try and take as much damage as we can. We're back up to four hearts now, so we've got a lot more safety. Dude, I'm really liking this um, this mirror version of ourself. It's very useful when I'm getting up close and personal with enemies because it can just do the damage I'm doing. Like, it obviously has to be nearer to the middle of the room to work super effectively. Teleports Isaac to the error room. Ooh. That's actually pretty useful for the end of the floor. Just gotta make sure I don't use it before the end of the floor. I'm just gonna pop Yum Heart now, actually, just, just to be safe. But yeah, I'm hoping I can get this trinket to pop before the, uh, the, the difficult floors come. That was a champion that just hit me there, my bad. Uh, depression's actually kind of good. Gift card, although I think gift card's better. Uh, let's, let's gift card it. Second one of these for the run. Very nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's be a bit safe here and try and kill enemies for the red hearts instead. I know they don't always drop red hearts when you kill them regularly. Oh, one of these rooms, lovely. I say that and literally get nothing from these guys. Give me a red heart, there you go. Be careful of the little spewer boys. They fire quite a lot of shots. Another half heart, lovely. Our blue keys here. I was like, how the hell do I get to the blue key? And it's, it's right there. <laughs> Literally right in front of me. I just didn't see it. That's another heart. Yum heart, I'll just pop. My bad. Ah, god damn it. Heart that I can't reach. Where art thou secret room here? Where art thou secret room? Ooh, you loved a bomb at me. Cheeky bastard. Shop will, of course, check with our money. Um, I've never actually had this work, I don't think. Oh, um, I'm going to take it anyways, why not? Wheel of Fortune, no thank you. Don't know what card that could be. Okay. Quickly go and try and find secret room. I'm not exactly sure where it presides. Um, could be in the nook of this wall here. I've got six bombs, so I'm willing to willing to try a few places out. Didn't need to, though. Lovely. Give me that heart real quick. Yeah, yeah. Crack that open. I will crack that open as well. That's pretty good. Um, we want to pop this. Mega Mush. Okay. I mean, Mega Mush is kind of interesting because we don't take damage when we're using Mega Mush. Um, I will leave that D6 there just in case because I think I'd rather go to the error room than have the D6. I know that sounds blasphemous, but I'm not going to pop Mega Mush yet. I don't think it's worth it popping it yet. Let's try and use my, uh, my Ghost, my Mirror Boy. It's a little hard to, to use effect super effectively, especially in situations like this. But it does do a ton of damage if you can just stand it on top of the enemy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. old bandage is amazing here. All right, we'll check out the devil deal here. Oh, good. This is what I'm hoping for. Just give me a lump of coal, please. Don't be a dick. As long as he doesn't sit in the middle of the room, this guy's pretty easy for us. Of course he gave his head a Krampus, goddammit. Um... And, yeah, I'm in an error room here. Wasn't really what I was expecting. I don't even know what that would do, so I don't think I want to do it. Are these penny rocks? Yes, they are. I thought they were, but I had to find out. Ooh, actually. We can then do this to get out of the error room. We got into here. Um... 
And now we can actually go back and, for one, pick up some of the red hearts that are on the floor here. Um, and mainly go back and get our dice shard so we can take it to the next floor. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, Mega Mush essentially, I wouldn't say guarantees us a win, but it's, it's pretty darn close. Um, it puts us in a very, 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 very good spot. Um, and then we can just go down to the next floor. Yeah, it puts us in a very, very, very good spot. Um, I'm going to be using it on a lot of floors here. Um, I didn't get a trinket this time, I got a pill instead. Right. Good thing is, we, we still, I'm pretty sure we still melee when we uh, walk into enemies as, as Mega Isaac here. Lovely. Unfortunately, we don't take damage though, so we don't get the benefits of picking up a bunch of hearts. We do get a bonus to damage on our tears though, so we can still like use our tears effectively here. Try and pick up hearts when we can. We found a secret room randomly there. I'll come back for that because uh, Mega Mush is about to run out. I don't know if Gale Pill Golden version does anything, so I don't think it's really worth going for. Ooh, tears up. Lovely. We've still got secret room back over there, so I'll leave that for now. I'm trying to get rid of my soul hearts on purpose here so I can start picking up more red hearts. Uh, boss, I'm just going to do... Perfects. <laughs> oh, Whirling Leech, another heart container and an on damage effect. Absolutely beautiful. This is, regardless of Mega Mush, this is a really, really, really good run for this character. We've got a lot of things that work very, very well for us here. Um, Golden Bomb. I think Golden Bomb in this room actually does some stuff if you, uh, if you blow everything up. There it is. There it is. I knew it did something. Got a golden bomb there. And then we can start bombing extra stuff. I'm tempted to take that trinket. Trinket's pretty goddamn good. Um, five room is very nice here. We'll uh, we'll probably go for that. Thank you. Ooh, hello. You're giving us the virtue wisp thingy. Lovely. Come on, don't be a dick. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably grab the um, thingy here, the five room. Right, let's keep moving. We've managed to build our speed up quite a ways. I can't believe I've never had Candied Heart on this character before. What a great item for this character. Oh, we are going to have Whisper Mania going on. Not Whisper Mania, um, Leecher Mania. Good. I'll come back in this room. We've lost a bunch of HP. If we lose a bunch of HP. And we got Eraser. I mean, Sealing with the Stars. I'm, I do quite like Sealing with the Stars. So I'm going to take it. Because I was thinking, oh, it could give me a really bad item, my Wisp. But because I'm playing as Maggie, I can actually destroy the Wisps pretty easily by just like walking into enemies. So I think it's not that big of a risk to take it, to be honest. And as I said as well, I don't want to not take risks early on. So, I'm still willing to take some risks here and there. Lovely. Our stats are only going up. Oh, look at the... We get old bandage plus plus this is, is, is so good. We've got old bandage giving us um, hearts on hit. We've got the leeches on hit. We've got the potential to get a HP upgrade on hit eventually. We've got mega mush here. It's just all... It's all coming together so nicely. Also, this, this permanent wisp that we've got going on from the Page of Virtue is really nice because it gets destroyed all the time, but it always comes back. Like, it's a permanent wisp. So when we lose it, we just get another one. Magneto. Probably could have re-rolled that, but I think I'm saving my re-roll for something a bit more important, potentially. I don't know what exactly, but I think it'd be a good idea. Um, we should probably go in here. We've got plenty of HP on the floor. A theme is very, very good. Good for the later flaws, definitely. Oh no, the bone heart that I cared about so much. I actually managed to fill up all my hearts there as well. Don't forget about the five room. Uh, we've actually already been for the boss this floor, so we can just go to the five room now, actually. Go for it. 
Five room. Oh, always the best one. Always the one you're looking for. I mean, extra, extra floor, extra items, all that good stuff. Um, Bless Penny. Uh, Bless Penny's kind of good, but I don't think it's really what we need this floor right now. Oh, yes, a firm. Probably, again, could have used the reroll there. I'm just saving it for a better item pool, you know? I don't need to use it here, so why bother? I would rather save it for a time in which it's a little more relevant. I wish you could break down the doors into the um, boss trap rooms with Mega Mush, but that might be a little powerful. It's fine. Look at our range as well. The amount of range we've gained from uh, our pickups. Oh, Hagalai's in a room with no rocks. Thank you. Cool. We're just about out of uh, Mega Mush now. Robo Baby 2.0. Now, that's, that's certainly a contender, you know. That's certainly a contender. Um, one. Two. Why does Yum Heart heal me for so much? Three. Four. Yeah, Yum Heart just healed me for two hearts, I'm pretty sure. Is that normal? What would what, I do to achieve that? What did I do to deserve this? Ooh, Magneto's actually pretty nice, because now the hearts, like, sort of leisurely glide towards me. Kind of useful. Three. Four. Five. Six. Unfortunately, that's all, folks. At least of the useful things from that. Yeah, having having the hearts like lightly glide towards me is, is pretty nice. Yeah, have I got something that heals me more? I don't think I do, but maybe I do. Ooh, Golden Trinket Plus is causing errors. Click this message for more info. That's good to know. Thank you. That's a, that's a nice little feature there. Grants an extra life. Ah. It's an extra life, so I really should take it, but I think I'm going to reroll it and hope for the best. Broken Heart, um, Speed, Damage Multiplier, Shot Speed, Luck, Fire Rate Multiplier. Yeah, for one Broken Heart. Oh, wait, it's, it's, it's a reusable thing here. Let's go one, two, three. I think three Broken Hearts for all those multipliers, especially the damage one, is, is very, very nice. And honestly, we're not going to really miss those because we're really only running Red Hearts and... I'm not going to get that many red hearts anytime soon, so I think that works out just fine for us. Shop, what do you hold for us? On use, remove a filled heart container. It adds two burn hearts. Nah, we'll take Spider Babby though. Oh, it's Ferryman. Uh, I guess at this stage we can probably play Ferryman. Although I don't, I don't know the. Uh, the likelihood of us keeping our uh, our friends alive here. I don't. Do you know what? Maybe let's let's try something here. This might not work the way I'm hoping it will, but let's give it a go. I'm gonna pop Mega and then just try Doom and see if the Wisps don't die if I've got Mega. Maybe maybe it'll just save me. Golden key there. Not that it's that useful. Yeah, we're just kind of seeing here. I think these are actually really insane for, for only costing 10. I think you get way too much out of them. There you go. Got him. Oh, fucking heal spur. I thought it was meant to be angel items, but hey, her. I ain't got no problem with heal spare. That literally doubles our damage if we're moving at full speed, which we will be a lot of the time. Heal spare is absolutely broken as an item. Anyways, this so this run got real crazy real quick. I'm really glad that I used the uh, reroll in that uh, in that room, you know, like. The the revive obviously is nice, but honestly, that I I I hate playing as um as that guy. He can he can cause some real problems. Pop your heart here. We can get up to eighteen damage at maximum speed here, which is kind of nutty. 
Hey, we finally got our HP. We also got another damage multiplier, so damage goes even higher. So now we do have space for a trinket. Um, I forget what that trinket is back over there. Was it anything good? I'm going to have to go check. I'm going to have to go and see, just in case. Well, well this, this whole streak is about min-maxing. So we have to go and check. I'll be honest, guys, actually, out of the three series we're running at the minute, this one's probably my favourite to play. Just because I, I think the excitement of being on a streak is is, is good. Like, it's really nice to, to tr try and keep a streak alive sort of thing. Also, we still have a Wisp, apparently. A uh, get and Wisp. I did not expect to be able to keep that for long. But here we go. But yeah, having Mega Mush on that, on that thing there to get the guaranteed item was pretty spicy. Uh, also, let's quickly just check this. And aren't I glad I did? Look at that. Amazing shop there. Right, down we go. Yeah, I was, so far, I was saying before in my last streak video about how, like, it keeps giving us the easy runs at the moment. And I'm sure that'll end later on and it gives us some false hope and stuff. But it is nice to have all these easy runs early. I mean, I'm just getting ludicrous stuff. I mean, m like, Mega Mush in, in itself is great, but Candy Heart on this character is insane. Um... And then on top of that, like, all the extra ways we've got of getting life back and stuff. It's just... It's mighty nutty is what I'd say. And we've got a theme on top of this as well. Like, who can deny the power of a theme? Oh, I forgot that I just let you walk through. Oh, two luck upgrades for a theme is uh, very, very nice. Make sure a little battery there. Can we not pick up that battery? Apparently not. I don't know if that's because we're in Mega Mush right now, or what. Okay. Managed to clear out quite a number of rooms here. Probably get one or two more. Nah. Sadly not. We are headless now, though. And we can't shoot. Oh, there you go. I can shoot now. What the fuck? That was weird. Um... Don't think there's anything in here we really want. I mean, Dice Goblin's not a bad thing to take. I might as well just grab it. You never know what it's going to give you. I still need to find item room on this floor, so we've still got... Oh, there you go. It's right there. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. more damage, baby. The damage is just going crazy right now, and that'll get multiplied by our various damage multipliers. I think we had lead pencil for a little while there. Plenty of HP to work with here. Uh, do we need to search the rest of this floor? Realistically, probably not. This is Necro 1. Let's just uh, get on the boss. Lovely. More HP. You've got to be kidding me, game. Um, we've been to item room and shop. I think we're good to go. I do like to min-max, but I just don't feel it's that necessary at this point. Or a bit. Oh, hello. Who are you guys? <laughs> Where did you come from? More damage. Lovely. We've got Bernie boys spawning now. Oh, I think that's from one of the items we have uh, as our Lemmy and Wisps, to be honest. Yeah, it, it is. It is. We're spawning a bunch of Bernie boys here. I don't know what item it is, but it's working for us. Quickly check this out. Jawburn. Okay, we'll come back to this because there's a reroll machine there, and I don't think Jawburn's the best. I've got... I think one of my familiars is sucking me towards him, because I'm. It, 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 whenever I enter a room, it's really hard to move. Yeah, like, this this guy is sucking me towards him. Look, that's really goddamn annoying. Okay, let's let's wait for this to end real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Nice. The yum heart there. Okay, quickly go back to this now. And do some hurry rolling. I need to just get this bomb in exactly the right place, though. There you go. Right, see what we get. 
That is plus 12 bombs. Bombs are throwable now. Effect below is the second effect that can be turned on in config. Okay, nah, I'm not that bothered about that. That's interesting, but not for this run. Cursed Eye, I really don't think so. And that is Cursed Eye, isn't it? Yeah. Eternal Bombs is pretty nice, but I'm going to roll deep for something that's trying to be like on contact or something. Hot Wheels, you're good, but oh, Shard of Glass. Great. <laughs> you end on the worst possible item that I will never in a million years take. Although, is this character actually... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Upon taking damage, 25% chance to spawn a red heart. Isaac bleeds, spewing tears in the direction he is shooting. The bleeding does half red heart damage. The bleeding stops if a red heart is healed. All red hearts are empty. Okay, I think that's actually good for us. Uh, this is this is a risk, because it might not be. But basically, whenever we pick up a red heart, the bleeding stops, right? So we'll be able to stop the bleeding really easily, but we've just massively increased our chance to drop a red heart on taking damage. I think that's what's happened here. This this burner item seems seems kind of insane. Yeah, it, okay, it does stop the bleeding good. Okay, so this is a shard of glass on this character is actually pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. We're late for boss rush, so we don't want to bother with grabbing that. I kind of wish my burn boys would go away. I'm I'm way more into doing this on my own. I also don't know what enemies left. I'm very confused. This room might be a, a bomb out of room situation because I, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that was just confusing. Mega Mush is ready. Yeah, I'd like to I'd very much like to lose this burn item, please. I don't I don't like what it's doing. Got a Turk in there. Grab, grab. I, I like the fact that it opens chests for you as well. What we got in, going on here. Ooh, very good item there. That is, uh, champions will drop more stuff. I like champions dropping more stuff. Yeah, can we can we get rid of all my burn boys, please? Can we, can we, can all of them just die? When did I get such good fire rate as well? I'm guessing Candy Heart just... Wellied it up. We've really got not got too many fire upgrades. I do need a single penny from somewhere if there, uh, if there was to be one available. Come on, single penny. You know you want to. There you go. Yeah, quickly go back and get that item. Champions dropping more stuff. It's really good because champions don't just drop like more keys and stuff. They can drop trinkets and all all sorts of things. So it can be really really beneficial. We do have Mega Mush ready, which I think I'm just going to use on Mum. Good, good. Quickly check out the Devil Deal, see if there's anything in there worth having. Um, when taking damage for the floor, receive speed and fire rate. I will take that. We take a lot of damage, so makes sense. <laughs> now, we do take full heart damage now, so we can't use melee as readily as we were before. Two hearts is pretty nice to have on hand. Try and get as much out of this as we can while we're here. Being able to walk through the doors is actually very, very nice here to be able to just speed run it to the boss. We didn't make it all the way, but we made it quite close. Hello, I always mix this guy up with Krampus when he's this champion version. And we got random item here, which is actually a really good item. But unfortunately, not not quite as good as Mega Mush. <laughs> I don't think anything will be quite as good as an active item Mega Mush. Is there actually any better act item? I don't know. Oh, dude, these these mini Isaacs are like pushing me or something. There's like a strange force that keeps pushing me back. Look, I need to get rid of all of my. Uh... Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, I see what it is. I need to get rid of all my thingies because whenever I shoot, yeah, I got rickety. Kind of horrible. Oh, 
Fuck it. Just walk through the door. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get rid of Rickety. That's super fucking annoying. This is why I don't like taking um taking the ceiling with the stars sometimes. It can give you some really trash items. Rickety right now is like the worst. It's giving us knockback on our tiers, which is causing significant problems. Like we're just getting constant. I don't know why it's giving us constant knockback. Cause apparently the game thinks we're constantly firing tears. It does mean I can do this, which is kind of nice. No easy way to get rid of the. Good. good. Soul heart, thank you. Rickety, why are you like this? It's awful. The thing is, we just keep getting two every floor and it could make it even worse. That's good, I'll take that. Oh, I can't afford it. 52 keys. Right, let's let, let's just let's just spend some time trying to get rid of these, shall we? Can you not move away from me while I'm trying to do this, please? Don't kill anything for a little while here. We need rid of all of these. Okay, we finally got rid of Rickety. We're actually able to move of our own accord now. Good. I don't know what's going on with our uh, tears, by the way, with our tractor beam. It's it's getting a bit it's getting a bit crazy. Yum heart, pop that real quick. Hello, good sir. <laughs> we we just have twenty three fire rate. Don't mind us. Oh wait, do we have soy milk or something right now? Oh, we have almond milk. That's what it is. I was just having a look at my damage and I was like, wait, my damage is super, super low. Yeah, I'd like to uh, I'd like to probably get rid of almond milk as well, to be honest. It's it's kind of nice to have 23 fire rate, 10 damage, I'll be honest, but. Proving very hard to get rid of stuff. I need to find like a really healthy enemy to just sort of run into a few times. I'm able to kill these guys somehow even though I'm not meant to be able to. I don't really know what's going on with that, but thank you game. Check in here real quick. Six room. There is a spin down dice in there. I'll, uh, I'll try and get that at least. That didn't work, did it? Okay, I can get round now at least. Grab that, just in case there's something really special on the next floor that I can spin down into. Okay, it's gone, good. Back up to having great damage. More luck as well, beautiful. Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't really realize as well just, just how much luck we've been getting off of the back of uh, Candied Heart. Like, we've, we've gotten a ton. Like, a theme is, is popping. A theme is popping. Quite clearly it is popping. Oh my god. This is an insane run, man. Insane run. Also, this is a gross room right here. Get out of here. Like, I'm just taking damage constantly and it just barely even matters. I heal up again. I get some more stats. Good old 18 range. Kill you easily. Right, we'll do a few rooms for opening our chests here just because we've got Mega Mush ready. We don't want to waste time. Thank you. Get out of here. God damn, why do I go to the two dead ends straight away? Perfection, isn't it? We've got a chest back there as well, lovely. Got camo undies here, pretty nice. Okay, we're about to run out. Let's do this as our last room and then go back. 
and you are toasted, my guy. Right. Quickly go back this way. Chest here gives us God Flesh. Right. That's good. We'll take that. Uh, spin down. That's Libra. Don't think we want Libra. Keeper's Sack would be would have been good earlier. I guess we'll just keep this thing at the ready. Right now we don't found anything we want to trade. Oh my god. Every I, enemy just drops so many hearts as well now. Yeah, we've got plenty of luck, so we should get be, should be getting chests galore here. These crits be doing crazy damage. 177 for a shot there. I'll just take that. The amount of little locusts. Not locusts. Um, what are they called? Maggots. Not maggots. These little dudes here. What the hell are they called? Tadpoles? I can't remember the name of them. It's not maggots. What the hell are they called? Leeches. That's the one. Took me a while to get there, but we got there in the end. Got nothing worth spinning down yet. Not a single thing worth spinning down, which is weird. Technically, that could be. Let's just do it. Why not? Means we fire shots out every single time. Now, I think once you hit 10 luck, you, it's a 100% chance with this item. So, technically useful, I guess. <gasps> a range up. Oh no, how could I have missed that? Yum Heart. Still don't know why Yum Heart's giving us twice the HP. That's definitely uh, been something that is very useful, but also a bit of a mystery to me. Bit of leprosy there. Lovely. Piggy bang. Beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, we can't skip phases with this guy. We've got to get through the phases. There you go. I mean, I've got a style on this game right now. Like, there's no need to do this, but this run is just, like, we got a style on it, right? We got the style on it. Yeah, I basically can ignore pretty much everything in every room here. I got Bomber Boy for some reason there. Don't know, really know why. Just hope we can find the boss early ish. I don't want to be pissing around for ages. I think basically with with Yum Heart we're near invincible here because I think we're always going to be getting a Yum Heart charge before two hearts deplete and we're barely taking damage. So I think we're fine. Oh, what's going on with this room? Okay, I see, I see. That was a little confusing to start with there, but I understand now. Wait, what? No, now I really don't understand. What's going on? Give wait. C eighteen is it? No. What's Transcendence? C20. I did not actually type it in. God damn it, game. Broken ass room. Right, there you go. Fixed. Where art thou, bosses? Where art thou? We also got a bunch of these worms as well, which. We had this last time. Like, I don't know if it's the if it's the green the green worm dude that does it, but they just seem to spawn all over the goddamn place. And I don't really know why. Okay, finally a boss. A hey, delirium straight off the bat as well. Lovely, and we do have a thingy charge as well. We aren't going to be able to use Mega Mush as much as I'd like for contact damage here, just because. This guy's not going to teleport away from us constantly, but we'll try. We've already got him half dead, so... The chances of him getting anything on us is uh, pretty unlikely. Where are you? I, I literally have no idea where you are right now. Oh, there you are. Come back here, you coward. Oh my god, they're teleporting, man. Just let me kill you. Seems like they fixed um, off-screen indicators, which is nice. Didn't expect that to get fixed so quickly. Oh, 
Right. Okay, this is over. We have bested you. This was an absolutely insane run, once again for the streak. I hope you guys did enjoy. Absolutely delightful to play this character, my god. Especially with Candied Heart, holy hell. That is something that I can't believe I've not done before. Either way, I hope you guys do enjoy, and I see you guys in the next one.